my wife's a bully. She's always coming at me, telling me what I didn't do right, what I didn't do wrong. I'm not trustworthy. I'm not reliable. I, I, I don't know what to do. What can I do? My name is Stuart Matola. I'm a men's relationship coach. I'm going to be giving you a tool explicitly if you're in this situation of what you can do so you don't feel like you're at the mercy of your wife's charged behavior. So first off, I want to say this is a really tough spot for a guy to be in. And if you're in this spot, uh, I got a lot of empathy for you. I was in that spot often during a 20-year marriage. And, you know, I don't know that the word bully was the one that I would use, but there was just this continued sense that, um, yeah, I just wasn't enough for her. I wasn't doing things properly. The biggest one I would hear is, you're not on my team. I don't feel like you're on my team. And it started to create this dynamic where I felt like if I didn't do things right, I wouldn't get what I wanted in my marriage. And so in that subtle form of manipulation was a sense of, of feeling like she was a bully. And I didn't really feel like that was her intention or that's who she wanted to be, but that's how I experienced it. But I also see a lot of guys who explicitly are telling me, my wife is coming me, with me, to me, at me, or my partner, with really charged behavior. And the guy's even questioning, why am I even in relationship with this person? And sometimes at extremes, it's going to levels of, oh, I'm in relationship with a narcissist. I'm in relationship with somebody who's emotionally abusive. And there's different tiers of what's going on here. But regardless, there's a tool that you can use that can basically say, enough. I'm not taking this anymore. And I notice what gets in the way of guys to actually get into that place of self-advocacy is they fear that she's even going to freak out worse. It's going to make things worse. Well, if you're in that situation, um, is it going, I want to ask yourself, is it going really well right now? And is placating making things any better? They're not. And so often in these situations, our fears are much worse than the actual reality that's going to ensue. So the tool I have for you with this simply is this. And I say, it's strong shield, open heart. Strong shield. What do I mean by that? That means when stuff's coming at you, you are essentially just not taking it on. You just... It's like an arrow coming, bang, just drops, bang, drops. You're not taking that on. And you're even stepping further to say, it doesn't work for me when you talk to me like that. Tell me what you want. Stop telling me who I'm not, and what my character is. Strong shield, also known as a boundary. And a lot of times, guys who are in this position, we're nice guys, we're good guys, we feel bad about asserting ourselves often because we don't know the difference between assertion and aggression. And I want to be clear, as long as you're speaking kindly, you are not being aggressive. That doesn't work for me. Um, I'd appreciate it if you talk to me in a kinder tone and I can hear you better. So on the flip side, is the open heart. And that means you're not just putting up a wall because I see guys go to the opposite side where it's like, screw her, I don't wanna deal with her, she's crazy. No, those guys are stopping all connection from even happening. So the open heart, and you could also say open mind, is knowing that you're also receptive. Like what's really going on for you, babe? Tell me. You're actually interested, you're, you're advocating, you're taking leadership in your relationship to say, that's not going to work for me. And I also want to know what's really going on for you. I'm open. Okay. But do it in a way 
that um, is kind and respectful, and I'm here. And if you're not going to do that, um, I'm, I'm stepping out. And when you collect yourself, I'll be back in. So, again, strong shield, healthy boundaries, very powerful tool. Open heart, staying connected, asking her what she wants. A great way to deal when you feel that dynamic of being at the... Uh, um, feeling like the object of your partner's rages or anger. And I want to be clear, you can't just do this alone. I love offering these tools and tips, but even better is the chance to debrief and get custom feedback on your situation, how this worked or didn't work for you. Tuesday's 9 a.m. men's relationship call is an open Zoom call that I host. And if you're the kind of guy who's not sure if, uh, you know, you want to show up to something where with guys that you don't know, I invite you to just listen in, mute your video, mute your audio, and just observe and participate when you're comfortable. If this was helpful, please subscribe to this channel to the lower right. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great day. Bye.